in this video we are going to learn what is laravel jetstream and how to install laravel jetstream so laravel jetstream is a beautifully designed application starter kit for laravel and it provides the implementation for your applications login registration email verification two-factor authentication session management api via laravel sanctum and optional team management features Jetstream is designed using Tailwind CSS and Jetstream offers you two choices for front-end stacks the Livewire and the Inertia.js and each stack provides a productive powerful starting point for building your application however the stack you choose will depend on your preferred templating language now let's install Laravel Jetstream but before installing Laravel Jetstream you need to remember that you should not install laravel jetstream in your existing laravel application because it is not recommended if you install jetstream in your existing application then you will face some problems and some issues so you should create a new application or you should choose a new application a new laravel application to install uh, jetstream so let's create a new uh, laravel application first Now I am going to create uh, my Laravel application with Composer and I am going to give uh, this application a name Jet App. You can create your application with a name as you want. Now here you can see our Laravel application has been uh, created. Now let's open it up in uh, our Visual Studio code. Now let's run this application with PHP Artisan Serve. Now here you can see our Laravel application is running as it should be running as a fresh application. Now uh, let's install Laravel uh, Jetstream in our application. So open a new terminal. So the first command you have to enter in your application is the composer require Laravel slash Jetstream. So this now, command will install the uh, Jetstream packages in your application. Now the second command we have to enter in our application is the php artisan Jetstream install and then the iska folding we want php artisan jetstream colon install and then the name of the scaffolding or stack we want so if you want livewire scaffolding in your application then you have to write livewire here and if you want uh, inertia.js then you have to write inertia here but i need a uh, livewire so i will uh, write livewire here So let's run this command. Now after this you have to run npm install. Now let's build this application with npm run dev. So let's run npm run dev. So here you can see our Laravel application has been built successfully. Now after this we have to connect this application to the database. Then we will migrate all of the migration to the database. So let's run XAM control panel and let's run PHP 
my SQL admin now let's create a new database with a name jet db and here you can see database created successfully so let's open env file of your laravel project then give the database from the database credential give the database name change the database name to jet db save this file now let's open a new terminal and let's run php artisan migrate and here you can see all of the migrations has been migrated successfully and if i uh, refresh the database the jet db database then i can see all of the tables from the migration of our laravel project now let's run the last command uh, for uh, jetstream but if you install jetstream with inertia you do not have to run this command but if you uh, install jetstream with livewire then you have to run this command so let's run php artisan then vendor colon publish double dash tag equals to jetstream views so the so the command is php artisan vendor publish double dash tag equals to jetstream views so remember if you stall uh, jetstream with livewire only then you have to run this command but you if you install jetstream with inertia then you do not have to run this command so here you can see we have run this command and now we are good to go to use laravel jetstream so let's run our application with php artisan serve now let's go to the application and here you can see now we have the login and registration option in our application so let's go to the uh, login and here you can see we have we can log in from here and uh, before login we have to register ourselves so let's register a fake user with fake filler and let's give a password of one two three four five six seven eight and the confirm is also the one two three four five six seven eight now let's register this user to the application and here you can see uh, now we can uh, access the dashboard of laravel jetstream and we have our user registered in our application now uh, what we can do we can uh, log out and go to the profile menu and from the profile we can change our name we can change our email like if I change my name and save this it how far it's changed so this is the uh, good thing of uh, jetstream and we can also change the password and we can also enable the two-factor authentication so let's enable it let's re-enter your password and here you can see uh, the two-factor authentication is now enabled and you can scan this QR code uh, from your phone to authenticate your application and here you can see all of the details uh, that you can uh, uh, store to secure your password now uh, we can see from where we have logged into the application like we have like we are logged into the application from windows chrome browser and from the ip and we can also um, delete our account from here if i click delete then i have to uh, re-enter my password and log out other browser sessions so this will log out from all of these sessions so this is the benefits of the uh, laravel jetstream that you have multiple options in one place